guys, welcome back to Crafting Princesses. Today I'm going to show you how to cover or line an alligator clip as you can see here. I did do a video previously on this, however, I didn't like the quality, so I am going to redo that for you guys today. You will need a 3 8 inch wide grow grain ribbon. I like to use grow grain ribbon because the hold is the strongest and easiest to work with. You will also need some alligator clips. You can purchase these at any craft store, Michaels, Walmart, Hobby Lobby. They are the cheapest if you purchase them from a private seller on Amazon or eBay. These measure at one and three quarters of an inch long. And to cover that, you will need four and a half inches of your grow grain ribbon. That measurement is exact, so you'll want to cut and heat seal both ends of your ribbon before you cover your clip. First step, you want to place a thin strip of glue about three quarters of an inch in on one end of your ribbon. You don't want to put too much because you don't want excess glue to be spilling out of the sides. Open your alligator clip and push that underneath the top portion of your clip and you should look like this. Next step, place another thin strip of glue on top of the clip itself. You will then cover that with your ribbon pushing along as you go. Again, if there's too much, it would come spilling out the side, so you wanna press down. Next step is you will be placing a dot of glue on both sides of the back of the clip, and you wanna do just a small little dot on each side. So one dot there, and then one dot on the opposite side. You'll then use your thumb to push your ribbon inside and push down. Again, you don't wanna to put too much glue, otherwise it will spill into the clip and it won't be able to open. Okay, and remember that both of your ends should have been heat sealed and oops, mine was a little crooked here, but while the glue is not completely dry, I can go ahead and move that to fix it. Very last step, place another small thin strip of glue along the last piece of your ribbon there and you will push it down. And that is it, you're done. Very quick and easy to do. However, I do like to make these ahead of time and keep a supply on hand while I am bow making. It just saves me an extra step. Don't forget to like my business page here on Facebook. It is Crafting Princesses 3. I will be posting a giveaway soon. Prizes and rules will be listed. Again, thank you for watching and until next time. Bye guys.